Mr. Speaker, going back to my days as the county supervisor, I fought to make sure the Central Coast was a leader in clean energy, in the clean energy economy. I helped get the first large-scale solar project in Santa Barbara County across the finish line and called it a win-win-win. That's because investing in renewables is one of the best investments we can make. It means a healthy planet, clean air, and good-paying jobs. Since 2014, the Central Coast has emerged as a renewable energy powerhouse. We are now home to several major solar farms and soon... We could be home of one of the largest battery storage plants in the world. Now, after years of negotiation, I helped secure an agreement to realize an offshore wind project and the jobs it will create to the Central Coast. According to a study conducted by a local organization called REACH, this project alone could create 650 good-paying jobs and generate $262 million in revenue each year. Renewable energy is also a vital tool to address the climate crisis. Some claim renewable energy funding doesn't belong in an, invest, in an infrastructure package. I say modernizing our energy infrastructure and tackling the climate crisis go hand in hand. Last year, the U.S. spent nearly $100 billion responding to extreme weather events and disasters fueled by climate change. Instead of rebuilding each time a disaster strikes, we need to be proactive to keep our communities safe from the realities of climate change. That means weatherizing millions of homes, retrofitting buildings, and storing up, shoring up our water infrastructure. We also must curb emissions in the transportation sector, which is responsible for 29% of our greenhouse gas emissions. If we want to tackle climate change, the transportation sector must be part of the solution. The measures included in in President Biden's American Jobs Plan will modernize our transportation system to do just that. It will create millions of jobs in the auto industry, building electric vehicles, and expanding our network of electric vehicle charging stations. Transitioning away from fossil fuels to renewable energy is also an environmental justice issue. Sadly, Minority communities are disproportionately impacted by air pollution. For example, Latino Americans are exposed to 11% more fine particulate pollution compared to the average American. Burning fossil fuels pollutes our air and destroys our planet. We cannot afford inaction any longer. We also cannot afford to pass up the opportunity to create millions of good-paying jobs that will propel our economy forward. It's time for Congress to pass a bold infrastructure plan that protects our planet, air quality, and our economy. As we on the Central Coast know, investing in clean energy is a win, win, win. I yield back.